This is your $1,400 stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Friday, March 5th. President Biden is attempting to strengthen unity amongst moderate Democrats by tightening the stimulus check eligibility requirements. Not all Democrats were on board with the original $100,000 disqualification limit for single individuals and $200,000 for married couples filing jointly. The new bill caps eligibility for stimulus checks at $80,000 per single individual and $160,000 for married couples. This new limitation reduces those eligible for stimulus checks by over 17 million people. According to the Washington Post, 11.8 million fewer adults and 4.6 million fewer children will get a stimulus check due to this modification. The $15 minimum wage requirement was also eliminated. Yesterday, the Senate voted on beginning debate. There was supposed to be a vote today on the stimulus bill, but that is not happening because the Senate is spending time to read the entire 628-page bill out loud. This is expected to take about 10 hours. The Senate parliamentarian is removing things from the stimulus bill, such as funding for a bridge crossing into Canada. The Republicans are pleased to remove provisions that are unrelated to COVID relief, but they are also stalling the process by creating amendments to vote on. This is a common negotiation practice. There is expected to be over 100 amendments. The Senate may be able to get a vote done by Saturday, but who knows? It's Congress. Again, they are spending time reading through the entire stimulus bill today. There is word that a Republican is now willing to vote for the bill, in favor of the bill, which now doesn't give a Democrat Joe Manchin all the power anymore. There's currently a 50-50 split between the Republicans and Democrats, and before we needed all 50 Democratic senators to vote in favor of the bill for it to pass, which is now potentially not the case. If the Republican senator wants to vote in favor of the bill, then Manchin's vote won't matter for the bill to pass through the Senate. Vice President Kamala Harris breaks the tie. I will keep you in the loop. Make sure you subscribe to stay updated to stay updated and drop a like if this video was helpful. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe everyone.